Hello everyone, before we get started I just want to say, as you may have noticed, it's the 100th episode of JS Quick Hits. That's a super fun milestone. This is also the final episode of 2019. I take the Friday between Christmas and New Year's off. I've really enjoyed putting together all of this content, and I hope it's been useful for y'all. I've also really appreciated all of the feedback and positive comments. Definitely reply to this video and let me know what you'd like to see in 2020. And now, on we go with strict mode. Last week we talked about silent errors that strict mode turns into loud errors. This week we're going to talk about some things it disables or otherwise alters in order to improve JavaScript performance. First off, strict mode forbids the use of with entirely. This code will not work. Let's go ahead and save that. Hit refresh. We get strict mode code may not include a with statement. Now if we comment out use strict real quickly, you'll see that we get a randomly generated number between 1 and 5. Refresh a bunch of times. Ha! It actually counted up, that's funny. There we go. As you can see, it is actually random, or at least as random as the JavaScript number generator gets. So why does strict mode disable this? And for that matter, what is with doing? Well, do you see how it's allowing us to use math properties without specifying math every time? That's neat, but it's problematic. This is because when you reference a variable within with, it's impossible for JavaScript to know if that variable is a property on the object you're passing to with, a variable inside the scope of what you're running, or possibly even a global variable. So it has to wait until the code executes to figure that out, which slows things down. You probably don't use with a lot. I don't. So losing it's not a huge deal. If you do have a super long object name you don't want to keep referencing, instead of using with, consider temporarily mapping the object to a very short variable name and using that for ease of use. So, this object name is really way too long dot print becomes z dot print, or similar. The next thing to be aware of is that, in strict mode, eval will not introduce new variables into the surrounding scope. To understand what this means, you first need to understand eval, which just takes an arbitrary string and, well, evaluates it as JavaScript code. Here's an example. Again, I'm going to delete this stuff because since we're throwing errors with use strict on, we can only do one thing at a time unless we want to do a bunch of try-catch blocks. Save this. Refresh. We get 32 and 10. As you can see, we define y as 10 and then immediately overwrite it with eval, causing it to log 42 twice. Or it would in regular mode. Watch. In strict mode, we get 32 that first time, but because eval is no longer allowed to define or overwrite variables outside of its own scope, our exterior y variable remains 10. 32 and 10. Side note, this is one of many good reasons to use let and const instead of var. They behave like strict mode whether it's on or not, so you're always going to get 32 and 10 even if you don't have strict mode on, if you change that code to use let. Even with strict mode off, we get 32 and 10. But if you do need to use bears, it's good to know. Last thing for now, strict mode forbids deleting plain names. This specifically means names you've assigned to things, i.e. variables. You can't do it in regular mode either, but it doesn't throw an error. This probably should have gone in last week's tutorial. So in regular JS, you can do this. Let's go ahead and turn off strict mode. See what happens. Nothing. Nothing happens. The delete just flat out doesn't work. Turn on strict mode. And we get an error trying to use delete at all. So why does delete not work in either case? Because delete is not used for this type of memory management. It's strictly for removing properties from objects. Don't use it like this because it won't work. If you want to free up a variable for garbage collection, set it to null. And that's it for this tutorial, and for 2019. Thanks everyone, see you in 2020.